Hey sis, welcome back to Sister Sister. So today in this video, we're going to be doing a survival kit. Um, I'm going to be a hospital survival kit. My friend is having a baby in about a month or so. She's having a baby girl. Her baby shower is coming up tomorrow actually, which is Sunday. Today, I just it just popped in my mind. I'm like, why don't I do her a survival kit for when she goes to the hospital? So we're going to be doing today. I'm going to give her a gift as well as the baby a gift. I'm going to show you what I picked up to go inside her kit. And when trying to think of things I would use to put inside her survival kit, I just thought about stuff that I would have liked when I was in the hospital giving birth to my son. In the basket is going to be things that I think that she would appreciate while she's in the hospital giving birth. That is all I think I have to mention. Um, also, if you're not subscribed, do not forget to subscribe to our channel. We would love it. Thank you in advance. Let's get into the video. Here I have this basket that I purchased from Dollar Tree. And this is what we're going to use to put our products inside for our survival kit. Here is a massive bag of paper shred. So, yeah, we're going to be using this ridiculous amount of paper shred. So we're just going to use this gift wrap paper and just put that in the inside. I'm going to add my zero dollar paper shred in the bottom. So I'm going to put a ton of that in the bottom of here. Pretty cool too because it's like because it's the paper from like different kinds of, um, all kinds of papers, it's all kinds of papers. And so it gives it that color, the hints of color, the white with the color from all of the papers that we have. So I thought that would be cute and cost efficient. I don't know what she's gonna do with it, she's probably gonna dump it, but. <laughs> You know, helps me get rid of the paper, makes me feel like I'm not wasting paper. So, there we go. I thought she would appreciate a crossword puzzle because, you know, when you're in a hospital and you're laid in the bed, especially if you're going to be induced. Now, if you're in labor already, yeah, you won't have time for this. But if you're being induced, this will be a good distraction. So, I seen this notebook in pen set that I thought was really, really cute. She could probably use this to jot down notes before going to the hospital, you know, maybe things that she might need to take. And the pen, which is really, really cute, it has a little diamond at the top. How cute is that? And the pen is like a metallic pink, which is really, really pretty. And also, how cute is this? It lights up. <laughs> I thought that was so cute that it lights up. Also grabbed a mask because this might help her sleep. She's gonna need some sleep. Hopefully, Daddy to be will give her a few hours, and this will help. So I picked up a travel toothbrush set. So, oh my God, she'll have to wear pads right after she gives birth. You can't put anything inside, so you have to wear pads. So I thought I'd start her off with a couple pads snacks can't go wrong with snacks you gotta have snacks when you're after birth after giving birth i don't think she could have snacks before birth but so after birth she's gonna really really need this you are hungry starving after giving birth so she'll love these i'm sure so i saw these cute cute footies i was thinking either slippers or footies but i know those footies that they give you in the hospital when you're giving birth are just ugh, they're not good so i figured she'd probably like a new set of comfortable cute footies so yes if you're african-american and you're giving birth you cannot not have your bonnet you have to have your bonnet need something to tie that hair back. And there's gonna be a lot of work going on, so you're gonna need this bonnet. So I'll pick that up. I have some bliss stack. So your, your lips get kind of dry after all of that huffing and puffing and pushing. 
So she's gonna need some chapstick. I grabbed her some Advil, cause uh, yeah, the pain is gonna be real <laughs> after giving birth. So I'm sure they'll give her something, but um, for home to start her off, she got a couple packs of Advil. And some Trident gum. I grabbed a candle. Yes, this might help in with relaxing her while she's giving birth. So the smell of, what is this? It says pomegranate noir. So I've seen this sparkling red grape juice. Since she can't drink, I'm sure she's gonna be breastfeeding and she can't have any alcohol. So of course, to celebrate the baby, she can have some sparkling grape juice and, you know, imagine it's champagne. I'm going to throw in a couple bottles of water as well. You have to keep hydrated. Hydration is the best thing when giving birth. So I hope you like this video and I hope this gives you inspiration when you have a mommy to be in your family. Uh, don't leave the mommies out. Babies aren't the only ones that can enjoy something nice. Let's give all the moms something as well. Thanks for watching our video. Do not forget to like and subscribe to our channel and see you in our next one.